Hi guys, I'm Angela Gupta and today we will be walking you through the roadmap from a beginner to ACM, ICPC and Google Code Jam. We have Abhay Singh Chauhan with us who is a coding enthusiast and who has been part of some of the toughest coding contests. He has cracked ACM, ICPC regionals, has been a part of Google Code Jam, has secured global rank 249 in Code Forces contest and global rank 27 in Code Chef starters. He, without any doubt, is a top-rated coder and a four-star on Code Chef. So without any further ado, let me introduce to you Abhay Singh Chauhan. Abhay, could you please uh, tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah. Uh, hello. So am I audible and clearly yeah, visible? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Uh, I am Abhay Singh Chauhan, pursuing BTEC CSC from LPU, currently in third year, and I have been into competitive programming for my past two years. So talking about my competitive journey, like I have been qualified into Core Jam round two with uh, All India rank 19, and also qualified to ACM ICBC regionalist with 300 rank out of 3000 plus teams. And apart from this, I am an expert coder on uh, Core Forces with a max rating of 1886 and a four-star coder on Core Chef with max rating of 1885. And my best rank on Core Forces is uh, 249 out of 15,000 plus participants and all India rank of 12 in one of the Core Chef contests. So this year, like I have won a coding contest held in my university on Prep Bytes this March. And as the session would move forward, I would like, love to share my more of my experience. All right, thank you so much, Abhay. So Abhay, could you throw some light on, you know, the importance of competitive programming and why should one do it? Yeah, so basically like competitive programming is a sport and there are uh, different reasons that the people are doing it. So some do it because of their competitive rounds for the placements and some do it as a passion. So like any other sports, the thousands of coders who grinds all day to perform best in the contest. So then how is this sport is beneficial? So the key is like this will give you an upper hand in the coding interviews and the coding rounds. During the interviews, you need to think about an efficient algorithm in a limited time. So this will teach you to how to think for a problem and the algorithms under pressure. Right? So this will also teach you how to work in a teams like the contests like ACM, ICBC and the Google hash code where you can participate in the teams. All right. And how would you suggest like how does participating in contests like, you know, these contests would help a person develop their career right so uh, practicing in such kind of contest will give you a different experience like a contest like icpc is a team contest where you will learn how to work in a team and, and choose a vice leader and follow his strategy dividing and solving tasks together and talking about the google code jam is a solo contest where you have to sit alone and do brainstorming and you have to secure a good rank and you might get a interview call from the google right so these are the two different kinds of contests and you will be getting a different experience out of there. And it look also look good in the resume, uh, like right. you are getting a good rank in ICBC and a good rank in the Google coding rounds. And these add up to resume section and create a, a good impact, a strong impact on the recruiter. Of course, of course. So like, could you walk us through your coding journey? Like how did you start coding and the problems you face and how did you overcome those problems? Right. So I started my competitive journey from my first semester. So in the starting of my university, I got to know about like, I should excel only in the one field instead of running in ev behind everything. So in my first semester, I got familiar with the competitive programming from my friend and started right. practicing in with C language. Then after two to three months, I shifted to C++ and continued practicing and giving contests. Uh, the main challenge I faced was that uh, from where should I learn new topics? Like I learned topics from my friends and from the editorials of the problems, but this took so much time to grow. So I would be more better if I have taken some CP specific course at that time in the beginning of my competitive programming journey. Right. So if I would suggest that if you are new to competitive programming, like if you are just going into the competitive programming, you must join some course because you will learn a lot from the educator uh, and definitely practices, practices always in your hand. So for that, you can visit the mycode.prepby.com. The courses like the Mastering Programming Languages and Mastering Competitive Programming. 
and the mentors are placed in the top companies like Amazon and Samsung, and you will be getting a lot of field experience in this field. Right. So I am guessing that if someone is starting from base basics, uh, so apart like they should join a competitive coding program. And so what else, like what should be the roadmap for them to start coding and eventually, you know, become really great at competitive coding? Right. Uh, for getting started in the competitive programming, you must have a good grip on uh, the comp programming language first, right? Uh, if I had to suggest any programming language, I will prefer the C++ because it is preferred by the majority of competitive programmers. So it would be easy to find editorials and the solution in C++. And you will be finding a lot of libraries which will help you to build your logic efficiently. Uh, but apart from the C++, there are languages like uh, Java or Python, but I won't recommend that for the first because these are some interpreted languages and mm -hmm. might run the code line by line. So they are a bit slower than C++, but you are, uh, apart from competitive programming, you can prefer that languages, but specifically from competitive programming, I would prefer uh, to choose C++. Then. Once you have chosen this, some uh, any of the language of your comfort, like C++, if I uh, just take an example, then you must uh, solve and practice a basic conditional statements and some kind of number theory concepts because these are the base of the competitive programming journey, which you will follow from, from now to next one or two years. Then you will be definitely getting a, uh, a lot of problem to solve. So uh, once you are starting uh, practicing the language, you can visit the mycode.prepa.com and you will be getting all the topics in the serial organized manner and you have to solve that problem right you will you will be getting a quality problem out there right okay right. so Abhi, that was pretty informative so tell me something like if someone who's coming from a no, no coding background they are not getting enough coding guidance from their college or they do not have a coding culture how would where would they get help from uh, so here I would love to share my own experience. Like in my first year, I was not touching with any of my senior and me and my only friend uh, did uh, coding and discuss their, our problem with each other. Right. So the coding culture in our, US, in our university is quite weak. Like DSA specific subjects start in the second year and the proper pathway uh, starts in the third year. So, which is far too late. So starting, so starting competitive programming in the early stage is a perfect boost. So if you join a, a course and get a mentor in the early stage, you will be definitely getting broke in the third year where many of the uh, coders are just getting started to catch DSA. At that time, you are just rocking uh, in the third year because you know everything, right? right? So the key is like you have to, you need a mentor or guide, which is very important because he can guide you with their experience, uh, which topic you have to learn and how to improve your current coding level. So for that, uh, you can uh, check the coder expert program of the prep by where you can get the proper mentoring about the DAO solving for, for the next six months. And the mentors are placed in a good companies and they will be teaching, you will be getting a lot from their experience. Right, right. So also could you like just suggest some important talk, topics one should focus on right from the basics and moving ahead to intense coding? Right. So like if you are just starting the competitive programming, then you first have chosen the language, then you must right. uh, brush up your the basic skills like the maths. The basic mathematics is quite very important because every contest consists a single problem, which is of pure maths. Then if you're learning a higher data structure, then it includes the mathematical concepts, which make the logics more easier and the algorithms more faster. Right. So the basic mathematics is very important for the the, for the whole building of the competitive programming to stand up, right? So the base of the competitive programming, I can say is mathematics. So the number theory concepts should be cleared uh, with uh, the efficient coding and implementation. Then you can jump to the uh, medium level data structure with the arrays and strings, then move on to higher data structure like graphs or dynamic programming. All right, that sounds great. I hope our students are taking notes. Uh, moving on, so we have ACM ICPC coming in the upcoming months. Uh, what suggestion would you like to give to students who are preparing for this? So ACM ICPC is quite different from uh, different uh, Google coding rounds. So for ACM ICPC, you must aware of the skill level of your team members because ACM ICPC is a team contest and you must be having at least uh, four ma uh, minimum four members in your team to participate. Right. So during the contest, you are given uh, six to seven problems and the problems will be like 
from absolute easy of like brute force then it comes to implementation constructive medium levels then the problem goes up to the harder levels which are graphs or some other data structures right so the, okay. before participating you must know about the uh, qualification criteria for the regionals so for the regionals the first thing is right you must get a rank 1 in your university like you are in from your university like 10 teams are participating you must get a rank 1 if you are not getting the rank 1 then you must get the global rank under 700 or there must be another cut off for the qualification but the minimum is like you must get 700 rank global rank right so to achieve that first thing is that you must have a good team so you can converse with each other and the second is thing is that your the skills of your team members is perfectly divided uh, it is good that all of your team members are perfectly like expert in their coding skills but if they are not then uh, you must be dividing the team members like the one should definitely approach the fast easy problems as fast as you can and and someone who is good must focus on the harder problems and one who is intermediate must focus on the medium level because the time matters a lot the one right. the first who solve the question first will get up to the higher rank a uh, good rank in the competition okay. so here i can discuss my strategy during the contest so here me and my second friend who were exploring the course of uh, according to the course of rating and the third one was the pupil so the one of my teammate started a uh, reading from the start and i started reading from the beginning from the ending so because program are not sorted according to according to their difficulty level so we have to read from the start and the end so we can find the easy program first and solve as fast as we can and the third one was uh, solving reading program randomly like whenever he can get the, uh, the the program which he can solve so he can just brute force like brainstorm and get uh, as the perfect idea so we can build the logic so i did the first question in the first 10 minutes and my friend did the second question in the next 20 minutes then after that i uh, some did spent some time on the third question and did it in 30 to 40 minutes and after that we definitely get the rank 1 in our university so we are definitely qualifying for the regionals so right. difficulty which we were facing in the contest for like we haven't read the problem statement properly because we are in a hurry like right. if you are in a Uh, because icb is a good name to qualify like it is an a uh, dream to get into regional stand to the world finals so we are in a good hurry to achieve a good rank of course so uh, this was like it was like we have to just take more patience and read the statement properly and write a good code and the second difficulty we faced like we misunderstand the test cases and print output the wrong answers like we uh, the answer was in the capital and we print in the slow letters so it go us to the penalties which lead us to rank more 50 down right so this you must be focusing on right if you are practicing for the icbcs then you must take care of these difficulties and must not do in the next coding rounds right right so of course so uh, basically if you are focused to get in the regionals then you can start practicing on the mycode prebytes from now so you will be getting the structured quality problems out there right so all right this was pretty much an informative session i am hoping that a lot of people will be you know uh, help through this uh, so any last suggestion any tips any you know just to conclude it you want to give to the learners so like the basically the first thing i would love to say uh, love to say is that if you must be focus on one thing like if you are in the competitive programming then you must be totally focus on the competitive programming and practice a uh, lot problems like you have to minimum a problem you have to solve in a day is like one like you must have to solve one problem per day and yeah uh, you have to keep a habit because competitive programming is a sport like you are practicing every day and you will be getting a contest one or two days after on the different platforms like the core force or something and you have to show up your skills then you are getting a good rank and this give you motivation to do more right so then you have to focus on your interviews like which you have to do and face after one or two years of the ending a uh, year of the universities and that time this competitive programming you have done for the four years of their universities going to pay off right so the base the main thing is like you have to focus on the one thing which you are uh, doing right now all right makes sense so right. uh, i hope everyone starts practicing right away uh thanks away for joining in thanks everyone who's uh, in the session please thanks for joining us 
um i think we'll just wrap this up right now um so yeah see you next time guys thank you abhay yeah bye happy coding bye you too